place value, ones and tens. Today, we're going to talk about place value and practice using ones and tens. Let's take a look at these numbers. They are called Arabic numerals, and these numerals are made up of something called digits. Let's use these digits to count to nine together. Ready? Go! Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have counted to nine, which is awesome. But what do we do when we get to 10? This is where place value comes in. We are going to have to add more numbers. And place value helps us separate these numbers into columns, like this. Confused? No worries. Let's count again together. But this time, we are going to use cubes to show the value of each number, and we aren't going to stop at 9. Nope. We are going to count to 10 this time. Ready? Go. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Did you see that? When we got to the number 10, the separate cubes joined together to create one super group of 10. Before, they were just ones all on their own. And now, they are joined together in a group. Here's an interesting fact. The number one in the number 10 actually represents one group of 10, and the zero represents zero ones. Whoa! To make this more fun, let's practice place value using some fun objects, starting with dinosaurs. Rawr. Here is a group of dinosaurs. One of the easiest ways to count them is to organize them into groups of 10, like so. How many dinos are left? That's right. There are five leftover dinosaurs. Hmm. We have one group of 10 with five left over. So how can we find the total number of dinosaurs? First, we can look at our place value columns. We can also write out 10 plus five. How many dinosaurs do we have total? That's right. The answer is 15 dinosaurs because there is one group of 10 plus five ones. Let's try another example, this time with flowers. What should we do first? Let's try grouping these flowers into groups of 10. One, two, three, four. How many ones do we have left over? One, two. So there are four groups of 10 and two ones left over. Let's write the number of groups of 10 in the tens place and the leftovers in the ones place. Given the skills we have learned, how many flowers are there all together? That's right, there are 42. Let's practice a few more numbers using our trusty cubes. If there are two tens and six ones, what number do we have? Hmm, here are two groups of 10 and six ones. What number is that? If you said 26, you are right. How about another? What about if we have zero tens and four ones? What number is that? Four. And how about one tens and two ones? That's right. It is 12. Great job, number crunchers. Using place value might seem a little tricky at first, but it can really help you count. Don't forget to practice using ones and tens, and soon, you will be able to count hundreds, thousands, and even millions. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.